It's been two years since Uyinenye Mkhwetiana was raped and murdered by Luyanda Bota. A night vigil service was held in Claremont to honor her. Today, Nobisuta Hejana has more. Two years since her passing, friends and family of the late Uyinenye Mkhwetiana say they will continue to honor a life cut short. The community of Claremont, supported by the Uyinenye Mkhwetiana Foundation and members of the public, gathered outside the Claremont Post Office where the 19-year-old was murdered. A public servant who was placed in a position of trust and whom we all trusted as the public brutally ended her life. She was a dynamic and a strong, creative, talented first-year student at UCT. She was only too aware of gender-based violence and spoke out about it. The new post office manager apologized to the Mkhwajana family. As a man, I want to say, other men, the change begins with us. With us. We can create a South Africa where women are safe. As they deserve to be if we change the culture of our nation. Where any form of violence against women is completely taboo. Everybody here today is helping to create that culture and we want to be part of it. While local police are encouraging gender-based violence victims to report cases, the Social Development MEC says the justice system is in shambles and it continues to fail victims. I am concerned um, at the manner in which or the, the lack of response to the scourge of gender-based violence. Whilst it takes a whole of society approach, SAPS has a role to play and my concern especially is regarding the DNA samples, the backlog and the fact that some police stations are apathetic. Despite Mkhwajana's murder highlighting the scourge of gender-based violence in the country, community members say little has been done to protect women. Nabasutu Ejana, Cape Town.